Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer, and today we're going to be looking at the most humble of all of Adobe Acrobat Pro DC's tools, the Create PDF tool. So you just got to click it, and this is what it looks like. So we can create a PDF from any format and from any kind of input file or files. So we'll start out with the single source file. So we can create a PDF out of a Word document, an Excel document, plain text, et cetera. And under et cetera, you can, um, it also includes lots of other things. So like image files, JPEGs, BMPs, PNGs, et cetera. That's pretty self-explanatory. Let's just open up our example Word document. Going to give it an acrobat a second while we create that. Okay, so this is our Word document that we brought over. And so as you can see, the quality, the text, the font in particular, the, the spacing, the headers, the footer, everything, everything in the graphics as well, everything's all preserved when we bring it over. Additionally, this particular Word document had a bookmark in it. So we can jump to right here. So it says Jane Smith, Reading Inc., Reading Towers, etc. This is a bookmark within the file. So wherever we are, we can just jump right to that. And that was inherited from the Word document. So Acrobat is pretty well integrated with Microsoft Office, so it can keep track of stuff like that. So we can use multiple source files. So we can create a single PDF out of multiple files. We can create multiple PDFs out of multiple source files, or we can create a PDF portfolio. So this is what I'd like to refer to as a PDF wrapper. So you can access the constituent files using the, their native programs. So for example, a PDF portfolio of a Word document, an Excel document, and a PowerPoint will not actually convert the documents into one long PDF. Instead, you'll still be able to click those files on the left-hand side, and you'll still be able to edit them in Word, in Excel, etc. So we'll do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So notice on the left-hand side we have these two Word files, and so which I always have it previewed. So we can do this. We can also preview it like this, and then we can open them up using the Open Document button in the upper right-hand corner. And so it'll open up in Word. So I dragged it over to the main monitor, so I can do my edits. Perfect. And then we can save it, shut it, give it a second. And our changes are preserved within the portfolio. But we're not actually dealing with the Acrobat's method of editing. Mm -hmm. Now, in the scanner, so we just create a PDF out of whatever's in our scanner. So I, don't, I personally don't have a scanner plugged in, so we cannot use this. Web page, make a PDF out of any format, any and the URL. In my experience, Bing.com looks pretty good. Wait for it. Bing is the inferior search engine, but it just looks so pretty. <laughs> anyway, so back in here. We can also make a PDF out of whatever is on our clipboard, so be it an image or some text. And finally, we can just make a completely blank PDF, just a single page. And that about does it for the Create PDF tool. So thanks so much for watching today, folks. My name is David Wilmer, and next time we'll be looking at the Combined Files tool. Until then, take care.